Hi, I'm Michael Bailey from Transmill, and today I'm going to demonstrate how Procal can use multiple standards without requiring rewriting of procedures. In this short demonstration, I'm going to use the Procedure Builder Wizard to build a procedure for a multimeter. For the purposes of this demonstration, I'm just going to use any information that I have to hand. I'm entering the model number, the meter display, and then setting the functions that this multimeter has. I'm selecting ranges from 400 millivolts to 1000 volts DC and 400 millivolts to 750 volts AC, fairly typical for a multimeter, as well as entering specifications that would once again be typical for low cost multimeters. I'm also going to select a linearity range of 40 volts DC with steps of 10 volts. As you can see, I've written this example procedure very quickly. I'm now building the procedure and preparing to open it in Procal. And now I'm going to open Procal, which is configured to use the 3000 series. As we see, it's spoken to the calibrator and it's now in remote mode. I'm going to find the procedure that I just wrote which is a standard calibration. It's going to come up with the traceability information showing that it's using a 3010A. I'm going to enter a serial number and a calibration interval. And I'm going to select as found readings. And now we're going to start the calibration. A prompt is automatically displayed to make sure your connections are correct. And I'll power up the multimeter. I press next. And the 3010 has automatically set the correct output. And all I simply do is type in the value displayed on the multimeter, press the enter key, observe the next prompt. And once again, the calibrator has automatically set the next output. And now I'm going to quickly switch over to using the flute calibrator in place of the transmill unit. This is as simple as aborting the existing calibration, opening Pro Set, editing my instrument traceability, selecting from the drop down list. 5500 and selecting the interface. In this case, this one is on the GPIB address number 12. Now I will restart Procal. Where it is once again speaking to the flute calibrator. Search for the procedure as before. And now we see in the traceability, it's displaying the 5500 instead of the 3010. Enter a serial number and a calibration interval. Select as found readings and once again, we are now going to start the calibration. I move my leads from the transmill calibrator to the flute. And once again, this has automatically set the output. So I just simply type in the value that's being displayed on the multimeter. In this case, I need to change the range. As you can see in this short demonstration, I have not adjusted the procedure. I have simply changed the standard that Procal is talking to. Thank you for watching this short video. For more videos on our software or products, please view either our YouTube channel or our website at www.transmill.com.